mild excitement that I introduce today's featured artists, 10,000 Maniacs. We all met in Jamestown, New York, which is our hometown. It's a pretty small town, about 30,000 people in western New York. And we were all members in some way. You were general manager. General manager of the college radio station. Natalie came in one uh, summer morning with an arm full of... Uh, Brian Eno records. Brian Eno and <laughs> reggae records and uh, asked me, would you play these? I sure, always thought it'd be I great am. to hear Brian Eno at the radio. It's a really sleepy town, and I wanted to hear Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy blasting all over Jamestown. <laughs> it blasted about two blocks away. That's how big yeah, the transmitter yeah, yeah. was. <laughs> about nine and a half watts of power. And they had, they had the radio station with a big window right in the student union, and we'd get heckled, and... Uh, uh, we enjoyed it, it, though. It was fun, yeah. I enjoyed the heckling because it made me sure that and if I was upsetting them, then I was doing something that was at least different. So it's kind of how, uh, where we met through the station, and uh, we just, we saw, um, I was out with Dennis one night, we saw a band without John Lombardo, a former member, was, he was in, and we thought to ourselves, we could do this, so we tried it, and uh, with uh, um, hearing the music, like the Gang of Four and the Cure, things like that, sort of, made us feel that music was uh, back, you know, in a way, and that we could do it for fun, sort of. And then it snowballed into what we have today. <laughs> We knew that we had to leave Jamestown, so we brought a school bus, we put a tent in the back, we took off, and then we'd get to a certain city and we'd look through the papers, find out where the clubs were that had the strangest sounding name bands, and then we called them and said, please let us play your club, we'll play for free. And we'd show up, play, and we did that. And we, the first tour we ever did, we went, went to northern Canada in the middle of the winter, and then we went to my, and as far as um, Tampa Bay, Florida, yeah. in the middle of the summer. Extreme. So we were not very well organized. We didn't know what a manager was, and we didn't know what a booking agent was. We had no idea that a record company would ever be interested in us. We just wanted to play, and we wanted to travel. So that's what, what we did. What did you live on? About five dollars a day. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed at Steve's parents' house in a retirement community for how long? Two months? Yeah, weeks on Waited end. My dad said we went through all the peanut butter and the hot water was continually <laughs> running. Whether it was the washer or the shower or something, the six of us sprawled out on the floor. All the peanut butter and hot water. <laughs> That's what we lived on, peanut butter and hot water. 